Hello guys, welcome to the Hype Production. In this video, we are going to create an amazing reflection with V-Ray Studio Light Setup. So let's get it started. First of all, I'm gonna take the plane and I will draw a plane just for the guidance and this plane has to be in the central line and after central lining i'm just trying to go to the v-ray material and uh, will assign a texture which is the a texture of a wine glass uh, a vector texture okay so if you press f3 on your screen so in front viewport so you can see the main textures by pressing F3. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna to go to the object properties and make it freeze and also uncheck show frozen in gray because through this you cannot move and you cannot select. So now I'm gonna take line and I will draw a line like this. Just click on it, click on it here, and uh, here I'm going to create this and this. Okay, so that's, that was my shape, and uh, it was the basic shape. I'm going to select the vertices, select this vertices, and find out fillet. Fillet can make it smooth. To turn one vertex into two like this okay so the another point is this uh, I have make them curve but you need to make them low in size and a little bit downsizing like this and select both of them make them fill it okay so this time I'm gonna assign a modifier called let. Press let and go to the minimum. So my class is ready. So I'm going back to the vertices again, resize them and make them the wine glass. So this is the basic wine glass I have created. I'm going to put the vertex more outside because I had worn a little bit of strong grip all right then so you can see these lines because this is the depth line uh, where you can put your water or juice so where water and juice can stay that means we need more details in it so i'm going to take a spline select this spline and we'll go to the outline mode and we'll give the outline that means the depth of the glass where i can use the juices wine or water so stay in it so now i'm going to take segments and we'll delete the extra segments we don't want them so i have deleted them these are the extra segments okay I think we don't need to select the vertex, make them top, and as well, you need to make their surface. So that was my let modifier, and I can see this is too much thick, the grip of the glass too much thick. We need to make them more inverse and then you can press minimum so it will really look like this okay one more thing well you will have to check both of them make them more thin that's i think this was good and you can see the inner surface is close as well but the one thing that we have the lack of segments, I'm going to increase the segments of 60. So it is curved. And one more thing, the corners are sharp. So go to the vertices, select their vertices and make them 
fill it. So now this will not sharp anymore. So according to the model, my glass is ready. I'm going to unfreeze and delete this. I don't want. And as well, I'm going to make them center. Put them in the center of the viewport. Okay, place none here. And uh, so for the next step, I'm just going to take camera target camera and from the top viewport i'm going to place the target camera like this okay press c so it will be active in the viewport and then you just uh, need to find out uh, their angle how can you use this add now I'm going to create a studio light setup. I'm going to take the box and we'll draw a box like this. Okay, so uh, for now on, I'm going to just uh, place the box in, place the glass inside of the box, and I'm going to take the perspective view back again and convert them into poly. Okay, after converting them, just take the polygon and delete their segments. So I delete their polygons and again you may continue camera viewport just fulfill their borders and one more thing that you will have to do this that you will have to curve their turning point so select the edge select this edge and make them chamfer increase the value of chamfer and also add some segments that will going to make it smooth and then you will have to apply a shell modifier to create double surface in it okay so this time i'm going to take the camera viewport and also apply mesh smooth modifier to create some smoothness but i don't think that we need mesh smooth just i'm going to try this but i think mesh smooth is destroying my setup if i will add two edges uh, in the studio setup from left to right like this okay let's see now it's much better but i'm not satisfied i'm i think we should delete mesh smooth we don't want that okay so the next step is just to give materials i'm going to go to the video materials and uh, we'll find out uh, the value of color has to be bluish and it's up to you. I mean, it's not a mandatory that you have to select this point or this color. It's up to you what kind of a color you want. And I'm going to give some reflections. And we'll give the value of 0 0.9 glossiness. Make it more darker. Okay. Alright then, select the glass. I'm going to take V-Ray materials once again. Go to the V-Ray material. And assign the V-Ray material on the glass. Okay, so go to the diffuse and give their color value has to be the value of red will be 0, value of green will be 17 and the value of blue will be 18. I think the value of green has to be 14 And I'm going to give reflection of uh, high reflection approx 250 or 235 something I think 223 is okay, but the reflection has to be high 255 So now the glass is uh, reflected and this time I'll take the render settings 
and uh, find out the render all right so we need to wait a little bit uh, that how much take a render take a time and uh, so this is my render which is totally a black why because there's no light in this scene i'm gonna apply v-ray light and from the left side of viewport i will draw a light here and we'll put them like this okay i'm going to give their value has to be a little bit bluish and invisible light and with no spe effect specular and reflection so let's see the render okay so my glass is looking here we can see my glass with a glass material but it's not totally affected it's not affected glass so what we should do we should first uh, give their settings has to be 50 percent and also apply the check on effect reflection and effect specular so now see the difference of the glass here have you see there's a lot of difference now the glass is looking like a glass what am i going to do i'm going i have taken another duplicate from left to right of the light so this is the main reflection but there's a one thing which is i have doubt in it that uh, you can see the behind reflections on my studios that's why i'm going to cross the lights out of the box and uh, also select the their multipliers has to be high select the studio setup has to be near because of the reflections and now this is not reflective anymore the glass is always just a reflective but uh, as you can see i'm going to take video light once again and place another light from the top because it was not looking affected to lighting but uh, this light has to be 30 percent and invisible and no reflections of checking but you can see extra reflection so i'm gonna remove the check of effect reflection in it now let's see the render and it looked like a beautiful glass i hope and i hope you like this tutorial and if you like this subscribe my channel press the bell icon let me show you throughout the zoom that it looks prettier and properly glass material with reflective studio light and also you can play with some more effective colors with some more effective back plates white color green color blue color it's up to you so i hope you like this thank you so much